Hello everybody, my name is James Turnipseed. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, aka Happy Return of the Walking Dead Day. Uh, here we go, episode No Way Out, mid-season premiere. Um, so here's your description, No Way Out. Now that walkers have shown up inside the gates of Alexandria, Rick and the other survivors are scared and outnumbered. Um, their words, not mine. <laughs> um, so this starts off with... Uh, Daryl, Sasha, and Abraham on the road in the tinker. They get interrupted by Negan's gang. Um, they don't call them the saviors, but they don't call themselves Negan either. But the guy basically tells them, like, hand over your weapons, give us everything, even the spare napkins. Like, he gave a stupid speech about, like, give us everything. It's all ours now. Your property is now Negan's property. And then one of them takes Daryl to the back of the tanker to uh, search the whole tanker. Big mistake, pal. <laughs> but before that, um, Abraham asks who's Negan. Right after the dude's like, we ask the questions. He points a gun at him and he's like, what did you say? And then Sasha says, wait. And he pulls another gun on her. And he's like, yeah. And then he's like, ah, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna kill you. And then he's like, wait. And he like raises the guns again and boom. All the motorcycles blow up. Abraham's missile rocket launcher shot by Daryl. So that's one missile gone. Um, and Daryl comes back and he's like, tougher than he looked. And he's like, did he get you? And he caught him like in the shoulder a bit. You don't even hear us, uh, no words, anything. <laughs> and that's that. That's how they take care of that. Um, so you remember how it ended, right? With, uh, Gabriel, Rick, um, Carl, Jesse, Sam, and Ron, and Michonne. And then Sam starts saying, Mom, 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 didn't really happen. Didn't, didn't show in the premiere. Didn't happen. Um, so they're walking and they're doing all right. <sighs> they get to some bushes and the uh, Rick's got a new plan. They're all going to drive a car and they're going to go to the quarry with the herd. And um, Gabriel says he'll take Judith because Jesse doesn't think she'll be able to make it without being fussy in the car. And he says, okay, so Gabriel's taking him to church, and then she says, take Sam too. He says, no, Mom, I, I can do it. I can, I can I'll be okay. Then he's doing an argument about it. Wasn't planned. Um, Denise is with the wolf dude, and uh, they're doing their thing. They're basically just sitting behind the wall. They get kidding looking for a home. And um, they just keep talking. It was a heavy talky episode. Um, just about like you can change and why people are people. Um, so they do that for a while. Yeah. And then uh, we jump to Eden and Glenn because hey, Glenn's not dead if you haven't heard. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're in the church uh, looking for a weapon and Bibles and stuff. Pardon me. Um, and then Eden keeps looking up at this big banner on the wall that says faith without works doesn't work or something like that. Um, and then she asks Glenn about, like you said, people that aren't weak. Like you do something for people even though they're not with you. <laughs> That's how you lose people. But uh, he explains it as... People make you who you are. So, like, your parents. And he goes, like, she's like, well, what's that mean? To, like, who's that to you? He's like, my parents, a man named Dale, uh, Therese, Herschel. So, basically, he's like, you know, people make you who you are. And then uh, he says, what's that mean to you? And she says, her parents. And then, okay, they're going to get, they're going to make a way for Maggie to get down off the platform. Because Eden will scale the wall. Um, and help her get down while Glenn distracts all the zombies and gets them. They find a gun in a cigar box. And they get the things that the, the preacher wears. 
I don't know what they call it. Um, but anyways, we go to Sasha, not Sasha, um, Rita, and I swear I can't remember that girl's name. If you, if you put a gun to my head, I will not remember her name because I can't even remember it right now. Um, but the one that was with the governor from that second group of people, not Woodbury, um, and Glenn and Morgan and Carol, and um, they're just hanging out trying to make a plan. And Glenn tells Rita, like, don't worry, we'll find another way out. She's like, yeah, we. <laughs> Basically saying, like, Glenn, you don't do shit. Uh, I mean, not Glenn, uh, Eugene. And then, um, Carol goes upstairs. She's looking at the window. Morgan comes and she's like, I should have killed you. And he can't. And she, he says, sh you can't. And then, uh, she's looking at the window and Denise is with, the the wolf dude. And they're gonna make a break for it. And the wolf dude gets bit in the arm. And she says, take me to the infirmary. And I'll save your life. And, uh. So they're working on that. She ties his belt around his arm to stop the blood flow. Basically, dude's gonna lose an arm. And, uh, Carol shoots her gun, I think. Yeah, to, like, make a hole, kind of. And, uh, then they're off to the infirmary, and the wolf dude don't make it to the infirmary. And then, uh, so here we go. This is the big... This is the big one, guys. Back to Rick's group. Um, so, they're working on their plan. They're going. And Sam starts looking at zombies and starts freaking out. And they show their faces. It just He sees a, a young kid around his same age, same height. But they don't show the kid's face. They just show, like, a little kid. Which I was thinking, like, where are all the kid zombies? Like, there's just no children. Okay. Um, but I get it. You know, I can't have murdered kids. It's a touchy subject. And then, um, uh, he starts freaking out and he hears Carol's voice. Remember Carol, Carol's creepy cookie lady speech? Where she's like, they get you. And they'll eat you. Alive. They ate his face. <laughs> and then, uh, Jesse's standing there and she's like, Sam, no! Ah! And, uh, Jesse got eight too. And she's holding Carl's hand because they were in a line all holding hands. And she won't let go of Carl's hand. Rick pulls out his hatchet and chops off her hand. And so, but Jesse gets eight. I keep wanting to call her Becky. It's Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. He's gonna be Jesse's girl. Um, yeah, so, and then, uh, Ron gets pissed, pulls his gun, and points it at Rick, and just says, you. You. Which is understandable. He did kill his dad, and then chopped off his mom's hand. Um. And then she fires the gun, and, or he fires the gun, because Michonne stabs him in the back. And Carl got shot in the eye. Oh, dang, he shot Carl. And then, uh, Rick kind of freaks out, and... Well, he already freaked out when he started chopping Becky's hand, and, or when she got bit. He, they showed a flashback of her smiling face when they first met, like, oh, <laughs> Which is cool. Um, um, yeah, he carries uh, Carl to the infirmary. They get him in there. And, uh, Denise is in there already, everything's fine, and, uh, the, the thing she was re reading was, uh, Faith Without Works is, uh, dead. And then, uh, yeah, so then Rick gets Carl in the infirmary, Denise goes into doctor mode, she's really focused this time, it's really working on her, and then, uh, Rick goes on a rampage with the hatchet. He had a Tyrese moment from the comic book. So if you don't read the comic books, um, so there's a moment in time in the prison where Tyrese gets trapped behind a closed door 
with only a hammer and the basketball courts full of zombies. So then, uh, he kills them all with a hammer. So then Rick is on a rampage in the street with the hatchet. And he's just going at it. And then Michonne comes out to help. And then everybody else comes out to help. So basically the whole town is out tenting, poking them with knives and machetes and hammers and hatchets. And uh, it's going down. And then uh, so Glenn and Maggie. So Maggie's up on the thing with Eden and... Glenn's hoarding them away and she keeps telling them like this way this way trying to get them to come back to not kill Glenn and once it looks like Glenn's about to get eight and you're like dang Glenn going down for sure and then uh, Abraham and Sasha show up on the roof or on the tower with AKs or AR-15s and <laughs> save the day uh, they get a plan to burn the pond with gasoline from the tanker and then Daryl shoots a rocket. So that's two rockets. So I'm pretty sure they're all out of rockets. And that's how it ends. The zombie takeover of Alexandria. Dead in the street. Uh, everyone's just hanging out in front of the infirmary. Dirty, sweaty, got blood on their clothes. And uh, cut to Rick talking to Carl. Carl's on the bed bandaged over his eye all messed up in a coma. And, uh, basically, Rick's completely turned around on Alexandria. He knows everybody can defend themselves now because everybody came out in the street and started murdering. So, uh, he tells him he wants to show him the new world. Carl, Carl! Um. Oh. We'll get religious for a section. second with, uh, Father Gabriel in the church grabs his hatchet and they're like what are you doing and he says uh we've been praying to god to save our town and god has answered he's given us the courage to go out and save alexandria ourselves so that group joins in and then uh so when rick's giving the speech that he wants to show carl the new world uh cuts down to carl's hand so it's like here's rick's hand and this is carl's hand and then he starts slowly, slowly doing this. And then fade to black and the episode's over. So Carl's okay. And a lot of people are going to be pissed. Because everyone wants Carl to die. Uh, it's break to you. Carl's not going to die. Rick's not going to die. I wonder when the baby's going to die. But that's just me. Um, so yeah, I might do a video where I talk about the plot holes. And what pisses me off about the show. So if you want to hear that. Plus on my other videos, uh, feel free to subscribe, hang out, um, Fear the Walking Dead returns in April 10th, I want to say, or 10 or 16 or something, so it's going to be Walking Dead, and then Fear the Walking Dead when that comes on, so subscribe for all that stuff, and yeah, peace out, let me know what you think, I'm out of here, have a good one.